What's up, beautiful? So, today we got a classic coming for you. We got a bleach fail reaction video. You guys have all been requesting this so much lately. You guys are like, Brad, where's the classic bleach fail reaction videos? Like, we've been seeing a lot of different stuff and do you guys want the classic? So, I'm gonna bring you the classic. I was planning on not making a reaction video today because, listen, I don't like to over to the reaction video thing. Like, I get it. It gets a little annoying sometimes. You guys still love them and I really appreciate that. I love making them a lot, but I want to show you that I'm not a one-hit wonder sometimes, you know, that I can do more than reaction videos. So I try to always come up with interesting content for you that has to do with hair, which isn't always the easiest thing to do, but I really, really try to do it. The only reason why I'm talking about this right now is because I sat down for the last uh, week and tried to come up with new concepts and uh, none of them were just good enough for me. And the real reason for all this is because I have the launch of X Mondo, my own <sighs> hair care brand. It is not hair color. It is not anything else that you thought it was. It is hair care products. I'm so excited. It's been in the works for, oh, so long. <laughs> and now it's it's happening. In seven days, it's gonna be launched and I'm really excited. And I just want you to know that I do care about you guys and I wanna make the content as amazing as possible, but just give me a second. I posted a glimpse at the first X Mondo product on X Mondo Hair Instagram, and I'm very excited about it. It'll be linked below if you want to see the glimpse of the product being released. And if you guys want to get your hands on the first round of products being released on xmondohair.com, then sign up for the newsletter, which will tell you exactly the time and date it's released. And stay tuned for the launch video. It's gonna be uh, like super epic on March 15th. So. A lot of exciting things, and I just want to give you guys the coolest damn hair products you've ever seen in your entire existence. But anyways, today, <laughs> we're gonna be watching bleach fill videos, like I told you, there's two of them. And holy crap, I saw the thumbnails, and I was just like, whoa. So if you guys wanna cringe with me and watch some people ruin their hair with bleach at home, then let's do it. <laughs> let's watch some videos. Oh my god, by the way, my hair has faded so much. I've watched it like twice and my hair just wants to be blonde, apparently. Uh, but I'm not hating on this color, actually. All right, our first video is by a guy named Rain Jerry. Let's see what's happening. Bleach hair fell, hair falls out, not clickbait. Amazing, <laughs> but also not amazing at the same time. Let's watch it. Hey guys, it's Jerry and- Hey today Jerry. I video. I hate the way I just said that. Hey Jerry. Most likely there's two things that could have happened. Number okay. one, my hair came out really damn perfect. Oh. Or number two, my hair came out a terrible disaster and this video is warning you. So today, I'm- I'm gonna guess it's the second option based on this title. Call me the Psychic Twins. I'm going to be going platinum blonde. I have- Or maybe not today. So this is my natural color right now, not my natural color. I was gonna say, what? Okay, his hair already looks compromised to start. <laughs> it's not looking too healthy, but not bad. Don't hate it, definitely don't love it, but don't hate it. Don't think it's a bad color, just looks dry as hell. And I wanted to make it all to like an ice blonde today. Oh, girl, good so luck. That's what I'm gonna be doing. These are what you'll need to do this. A bucket of quick blue bleach. This Great. Is my the strongest bleach ever. The only one that I found that works Besides like BW2. Hair. I got two bottles of 40 volume developer. This one's half full, this one's all the way full. And if I need to go into the 30, I will. But like I said, I'm gonna try to use 40. <laughs> that's what I usually do when I'm using platinum blonde. <laughs> Let's review. We have quick blue, which is battery acid. <laughs> and we have 40 volume, which is battery acid. Wow, that's a lot of strength. That'll lift black box dye out of somebody's hair who has bleached their hair box dye 500 times over and over again. That will lift anything out of hair. And his hair, it's already light and you can tell it's already dry. Already set up for a disaster. Definitely, this was definitely not clickbait. That's it's definitely a true title. Well, a T14 toner. I do have a T18, but I wanted to try to use 214 because uh, I never used it before, so that's what okay. I'm doing. The secret Thank you for that. that I will but... pull a flex. Um, oh, she's fancy. Okay, so I got my hair all stuff. It's Olaplex is there. I really love my bleach, like a creamy consistency. I really hate when it's too liquidy. We well, are. Yeah, that's good. But, 
because for this, it's better to use a thicker consistency for sure. So it doesn't dry out as easily. All right, well, here we go. He is starting to bleach his hair. Oh, yes. He also seems to be going right on those roots, which is a horrible idea. I mean, he would have known not to do that if he watched literally just one, like, hairdresser do a double process on YouTube. Like, it would have taken the least amount of research to know that you're not supposed to do that. Literally five minutes of research would have told him that. Tell me at home why you shouldn't bleach the roots first, because I've went over this a thousand times. What? That's right, because you have heat coming from your scalp. A lot of heat. You don't want to go and bleach the root first because it's going to make it really warm. It's going to process way faster than the mids and the ends. So, not a good idea. I am currently processing. Look at that. Yum. Yes. I mean, okay, like, <laughs> I'm definitely probably going to have to do one more bleaching. Highly doubt it. Like the patchiness for me just not giving Highly. Me. I, um, you know bleach my hair and use some Olaplex. <gasps> and as you can see, my hair is like almost falling out. Chopped off like an inch, but. <sighs> I'm at a loss for words because I'm just trying to figure out what went right. Because <laughs> it all pretty much went wrong. Basically all of it. Oh my God. Let's review. We got yellow roots, check. We got black spots because he didn't bleach every strand because he just mushed around the bleach on his head. Then we got overly processed ends to the absolute maximum. Maximum, like I don't even know how these things are still on his head. I cannot wait to see if he blow dries it because that is gonna be a little bit funny. Just a little bit. It's gonna be a lot painful to me and a lot funny at the same time. But oh no. And he said he cut an inch of it off. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm ready to keep watching. So I'm going black. I don't give a damn. Go no. Um, no, please do not tell me he's gonna put black box eye on his head. Please do not tell me. First of all, his hair is gonna go green because you need to fill the hair first before you put black over it. You have to put red on it or orange, whatever, because there's no pigment left in the hair at all. It's white. And also, these ends are not gonna hold any color because they're so porous, the color will just completely fall out of the hair strand. It will not stay in there. There's no hope for those ends. He's gonna have to like shave his head or cut it extremely short, but let's see. Honestly, I think this was a scam. Babe. Olaplex isn't gonna save your life. It's just gonna make your hair a little healthier. I'm like glad that it's not falling out. It's still intact. Everything's fine. No, it's not. But like when I run my fingers through it, like... <laughs> Did you catch that? Um, I'm glad my hair is still intact. It's all fine. Two seconds later. When I run my hands through it, it does all fall out. <laughs> and I'm picking up some black box dye. I'm not doing this bull Again. I need to Don't see what- Don't buy that Olaplex. <laughs> Olaplex is not gonna help you. This is my wonderful, lovely hair. Oh my. So I do want to dye it black and- Babe, dye also- Clear, because it's white, nice and easy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Natural black. Uh, please, I hope you made money off this video. I mean, that is that is, your hair is done, like done, like it, it never wants to like breathe again, like it's just dead. See you later, done with my life. Uh, your hair is never coming back to life. I'm so sorry. Is that harsh? Good. Okay. First of all, I can't see anything because it's on a black background. I'm upset. Still fried, but okay, I'm really confused. This has been the weirdest, craziest video. First of all, it doesn't look that bad. And I don't know how he got it black with black box dye when it was so white. This, this is like not how hair is supposed to work. You got really lucky. Also, oh my God, there is so much ammonia in black box dye and black box dye in general. Like there's no need to put more permanent color over your already bleached hair. All you have to do is put 
a toner over the hair and use a demi-permanent developer that has no lift. One thing I will say is, I know people are going to be hating on me in the comments already and calling me stupid and this and that. The only reason I felt like I could use sporty volume developer and why I felt like I could leave I love to hear the reason for this. processed hair already for 60 minutes was because I was trusting the Olaplex to do its job. The way I went wrong here Okay, is you guys, just a little FYI, Olaplex is not gonna make it so your hair will never break off. It's not magic. It is just science. It, it multiplies bonds in your hair as you're breaking them and bleaching them. This is not Olaplex's fault. Ultimately, the Olaplex that I got on Amazon, I'm not even sure if it's real or not. Didn't okay, T. Yeah, it's probably not real. I'm pretty sure Olaplex does not sell on Amazon, and that is fake Olaplex. Oh, there you go. There you have it. I'm done watching this video. That's, that's that. <laughs> also, just in general, the whole thing went wrong because you used 40 volume with quick blue and then used fake Olaplex. All around messy situation. Let's watch another one. <laughs> so this one is by Shantrinas, uh, and this is I Bleach My Hair. Hey guys, long time no see. I know it's been a What's up, Shantrinas? Shantrinas. Shantrinas. Hair video, or at least what works for me, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Quick Blue Bleach, that's one of my favorite bleaches. We're back with the Quick Blue. Volume developer. This time we're doing 30 volume developer. Probably still not a good idea with Quick Blue. I would recommend 20 to play safe. My ends are already colored. I don't need to lighten them that much, so I'm just gonna try to avoid that area until the very like end. That way, get a nice even bleach. You want to do the shaft down first, and then go back to do your roots because your roots process the fastest. So you want to do those last. And this is the first time that I've done okay. it that way. I, I thought this would be bad, but this is actually pretty good. We'll have to see um, what happens. Yeah. Okay, so we're making progress, and. It looks to me like her ends are getting a little bleached, which is concerning because curly hair, natural curly hair is very, very dry. And if that gets overprocessed, those things are gonna burn off. Like they're gonna be like, bye, I will see you never again. So I've just washed out my hair. Um, Ooh, I'm a little what afraid of what I'm gonna see when I take off. Me too, girl. So far, I'm not bad. seeing my orange in this spot. Lord help me. This is actually really good. Oh my God. This is really good, you guys. Okay, perfect. Right now my hair is a yellowy. Wait, what? Pretty good. It looks pretty good. Okay, all right. Let's see what she has to say about it. So I'm, I'm really amazed, honestly. I've never gotten an even bleach job like this. But this is perfect for what I need it for. Okay, so this is what we're working with now. Um, I have decided to Give my hair a break and wait until tomorrow to finish the dyeing and bleaching process. What are we um, doing? doing what is the plan here? Be too much for my hair, so. Okay, so here's a follow-up video. This is her the next day. Whoa, that's some hair. Oh, yeah. Lion, roar. And Portland, she's going purple. And, and pink. Flat. Okay. This is gonna be an adventure. See, I didn't get this this at first. I didn't know she was going purple and pink. This isn't gonna be like the worst thing ever, except the purple is gonna mix, mix with the orange, which is not gonna be a cute color. The hard part is over. The color part, I mean, anyone can do this, honestly. Ooh, we are going in with the purple. It's looking snazzy as fudge. Yes. I hope that it comes out just like that. I genuinely wanna see her hair look amazing but her hair is orange and she's trying to put purple over it so hopefully it's gonna work out okay i think it may be okay just because this purple is pigmented but you never know okay now she's applying that pink to those ends which is looking so good i think the pink ends are gonna look amazing because her ends are pretty light already there is some overlapping going on with the bleach you can see there's like some spots that are whiter i think that they might give you kind of like a nice variation of color and i hope it really comes out good i'm so excited for it because i really love natural hair and i want to see it look all gorgeous and purple and pink oh these are really pretty colors together oh my god this is gonna look sick my hair needs to be redone i should be the victim of my own hairdress reacts video today honestly she's so excited sickening Yo, what? That looks so 
beautiful. Wow, and her curl is still like completely intact. Oh my God, yes. This. Wait, this might be the most beautiful color I've ever seen on somebody in a self done hair video. Yo, I could never. It looks perfect. And I take back everything I said. No, I mean, it was looking a little crazy before, but she looks so good. If you're watching, please tell me you kept this color. You look so divine. It's just amazing. And that's not even me being dramatic. I'm not a dramatic person at all. But this looks amazing. All right, you guys, that is all for today. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed watching these people. I, I mean, that guy first. First of all, that guy in the beginning. Oh boy, I feel bad for you. Like that was really bad. This girl, not so much feeling bad, feeling really good. Feeling like, wow, she looks amazing. And please do not bleach your hair at home. Just don't, because it's never a good idea. It's not easy to do at home. I hope I don't look as crazy as I think I do right now but I probably do. All right, you guys, I just moved houses last week. I'm gonna finish unpacking my house. Again, Ex Mondo is released in seven days. So make sure you look out for that. Follow Ex Mondo and me on Instagram if you guys want updates. Thank you so much for watching today. New creative content coming very soon, I promise. Just give me seven more days and you'll be seeing some cool stuff. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time when my hair is faded more. Peace. <laughs> I gotta do my hair again, honestly. I gotta figure this out. Honestly, kind of a look though. Should I go blonde or should I keep it like this? I'll probably keep it. All right, bye.